Today's gonna be a fun day because we're doing a studio tour, let's go! Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys around a little complex that I got going on. There is so much that I do every single day from studio work in there all the way to stuff here in the office to all kinds of storage stuff, having fun in the game room, or chilling out and watching a movie in here. I've also made sure not to change anything. So what you see is actually what the place looks like after a full day of working. So you might see that there's some areas like over here in my recording setup where there's just cords everywhere. But trust me, everything works exactly the way that I want it to. So let's take a seat in my noble chair and show you exactly what is what. To do this properly, we're gonna get the help of some of my stream lights. Now, normally I use a green screen behind me when I'm doing stuff, uh, but let's just start right down here with the keyboard. So I have a uh, 500 series and then I have a 915. Um, this one is wireless and actually runs a second PC that I've got hooked up. So both of those stay all the way under here. They're identical cases, but pretty much everything uh, on the outside is the same. However, on the inside, they're a little bit different. I'll leave some specs down below for you guys. I also use the Go XLR, and I actually have uh, three of these things. Plus, I run that into a Yamaha mixer right afterwards. Over here, I've got a Sennheiser kind of uh, old wireless body pack kind of thing, and that helps me out. Actually, the transmitter for it's right over there. That helps me out with stuff. Maybe I'm somewhere else in the room. Maybe I'm over here doing something. Well, that will help me with that. I've also got the Xbox controller right here where you can plug in different stuff all around it. Kind of helps you cheat around the system a little bit. And then naturally, the Stream Deck. As for the mice, these are both the same and I use like five or six of these every day. The Logitech G502. Two of those, as a matter of fact. Headphones, pretty cheap ones from Walmart. RIG 400s, you could find them uh, in the camo on Xbox and PlayStation, stuff like that. Uh, big desk pad from Logitech, love this thing. Place for my phone, custom Xbox controller had done. I know it's very boring, but hey, I like it. And then I've got one of these, the REI uh, Matrix things for HDMI. What this allows me to do is to run different things like the PlayStation Xbox, which we'll see momentarily. And then the PC, and usually one other thing, but I've only got those three plugged in right now. It allows me to go here, which, hey, by the way, or to that monitor right over there. Keeping it going down here, well, we got a couple of little bits. I've got a Steel Series pad. I ordered one of these and they sent me an entire box. So thanks, Steel Series, <laughs> Xbox and PlayStation controllers. And then I've got my old iMac, which you can see me again. What up? Uh, all this stuff's just sitting here. This is the old setup that I've got. I do have a capture card running in here, just in case I want to capture anything, and it will capture things from that, which is kind of neat. Oh yeah, and there's a, uh, a Logit or Elgato face cam down there. I don't use it for anything, it's just, it's just kind of there. Making our way around. So the microphone that I use, this is the AKG C214. I use two of these, actually, this microphone setup right here with the Rode stand going into the Go XLR. Uh, the exact same setup that you're gonna find in the office in there where I do farm some news. I use three different layers of pop filter in this, um, just cause. I don't. I don't really have a reason for it. You could probably get away with one and be just fine. A monitor, so there are a bunch of monitors all the way around. Uh, I'm a big fan of LG, so I've got a 34 inch ultra wide right here, 21 by nine aspect ratio, and then a, I uh, believe that's a 24 inch 1080p. Both of these are 1080p, which is nice, so they both kind of look virtually the same. They're on one computer. Then this one is the only monitor plugged into the gaming computer. That's what I see. So whatever you see on the monitor, that's what I see as well. 
And then I've got a uh, smaller one. So this is instead of this one where it's 4K 144 hertz, this is 1080p or 1440p. <laughs> Sorry, 144. Well, those are 1080p 144. Again, I'll leave links to everything down below so you guys can check this stuff out. That's what runs all the consoles. And then this, well, well, that's just itself, it's, it's an iMac. Going up even more, I have a pair of Sony A5100 cameras running into a Camlink Pro into the streaming PC. Uh, these things are epic uh, cameras, I love them. However, you can't find them anymore, which kind of stinks. Uh, as far as lights go, I have not one, not two, but three, this one's turned off, but three Suppen lights, I think they're like 40 bucks on Amazon. And then I've got some newer, box lights. I actually have five of these, so there's those three, one up there, and then one just kind of chilling over there for no reason. Oh yeah, and you can't forget about the Blue Yeti microphone. This is running into voice chat for PlayStation. Barely use it. It's very far away from me, so couldn't really do much with it even if I wanted to. Making our way over from the gaming setup right there. Oh yeah, by the way, I got some footy stuff down here too, so I got a little place to rest my feet. And I have an Elgato uh, foot switch, which I use very, very regularly. This is a new setup that I set up for uh, DJ Goham Game Room. So I've got a uh, PlayStation Xbox hooked into here. Then this is the Logitech G923, the new one with the foot pedals and the, uh, the gear shifter there. This is just some off-brand, no-name stand, but I really like it. It's a really cool stand. Yeah, and then uh, LG, another LG. <laughs> of course there's another LG. And then I have another camera in here, the um, Sony A6100. And then I'm using a Sennheiser MKE yeah, 500 or 600, something like that. And those will run over there as well. <laughs> More Elgato stuff. So right here is the Elgato... Uh, green screen? Normally, that's behind me, right there, right where the, uh, those meet up. So raise it up, put it down, it's easy. Uh, here's some sound panels that I ordered from Audimute, but they took so long to get here that by the time they got here, I rearranged my setup. That's actually what these panels are right here. They are everywhere, so all the way around there. I bought, ordered two for there, so they can match over here as well just never worked so it is what it is I got some stuff here from the unboxing setup which is currently taken apart and then show you the rat's nest of cables back here nothing's hot everything works so uh, eh? <laughs> uh Xbox Series X PlayStation 5 I got those right there a couple capture cards they're running into as well uh, fan for my feet and then uh, all the cords and stuff back here. I'm using monitor mounts as well for all these. Currently, this is the unboxing setup. It's kind of what it looks like behind it. So I've got all these different mounts and stuff for cameras and microphones and everything. That used to be a backdrop stand that I used, but now it works great for that. And then there's the table and the same chair that I use, but I've been using this for a charging station. I'm getting ready to go to Europe for two weeks. So I've been trying to figure out what I needed, what I didn't need, and that table's been great for it. Similarly, this as well. I actually have laptops set up here all the time. So if I'm here, I'm good. And if I need to test something on like a lower end system or something like that, I could turn around and test something really quick there. Be good to go. Moving from this setup right here, we've got all kinds of stuff through here. So I have the, uh, the Revel uh, Porsche. Still haven't built it yet, but I did get the code out of it. <laughs> all my internet stuff going through there. Uh, it is an absolute wreck. And then we got some really cool stuff over here as well. Of course, got the um, bronze award from Giants. We'll be getting the gold one soon. And the silver award from YouTube. Say, I win it. <laughs> and then I got an LED uh, hologram tractor thing right here from Neil B. Uh, big shout out to him. And then, of course, all the awards and stuff right there. Moving down the list right through here, we got some more stuff from Giant Software where they sent over a Nintendo Switch, which was super cool. And farm some 17 and 22. Got a DJ Goham mug. Now, I would use this with the exception that, uh, well, it's cracked. I can't remember where it's cracked. I thought this was cracked. Yeah, maybe it's not. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, I got a copy of Farming Simulator on, well, every system. And then the squirrel. Sassy said that over. Oh, yeah, and here's my original recording rules for YouTube. Um, don't, don't ask. Making our way down even more. Or, uh, th th it starts to get kind of junk and trash from here on down, but basically we've got the helmet that I built, 
We've got some Xbox controllers that I have set back because I don't want anything happen to them because they don't make these anymore. So I've got those uh, dart guns. So when <laughs> Mr. Forby Gaming comes back, I can shoot him with a dart gun. I've got some extra bits from Wi-Fi down here. And then I've got some blackout curtains, which I'm currently not using. And then down here, we've got some stuff from YouTube Gaming. And then I've got some uh, extra monitors here that I'm not using. More blackout curtains. And of course, the heavy equipment bundle. So that's kind of that entire area. But I'm sure you want to know what's in the closet. Well, these are for storage. So let's kind of check them out. We're not going to go in here, turn any lights on or anything. But I have a ungodly amount of Lego sets that have yet to be built. Uh, all of those boxes are full of Lego sets that haven't been built yet. These are all Lego sets that have been built and then taken apart. And then just got a bunch of stands and boxes and stuff like that. It's all kind of boring in here, really. Now, making our way into the room that I probably spend more time than any. This is the office. So in here is my editing setup, as well as the Farm Sim News setup there. Of course, gotta have that noble chair again. <laughs> We've got a drum set in here, but to be honest with you, I haven't played this since Christmas. I really should sit down and jam out. Also got some more stuff around here. Got the entire setup behind me uh, with a uh, Xbox One and a PlayStation 4. Really don't use them. And I don't think I've turned that TV on uh, maybe twice since I moved in, like a year ago. <laughs> and I've got a sound bar in here. I'm not really sure where that came from or why it's there, but it's there. I also have these down here. So this is all of the stuff from the collector's edition. And I thought it would be funny to frame it all. So I did. And of course, got little goodies behind me as well. Stuff from Volvo when I went to go there. Some stuff, John Deere stuff that was sent to me. You guys are awesome. More Volvo stuff. My old DJ hat from when I was an actual DJ. And then we got some stuff over here. We got my mom's books, both of them. Should have some stands for those. And then she is the unicorn. So we got the unicorn there. And then Farm Sim and Kapoda. Yeah. And then we got some Rockville speakers. They are hooked into the TV. They're studio monitors, but eh. Yeah, they're okay. So let's take a look at the setup. Let's go ahead and sit down here again in my noble chair. And then from left to right, you've got your editing setup and then we've got Farm Sim News. Now this was originally my first, very first custom built computer. And it's the same case. And yeah, it's a little bit dusty. I can probably clean that up a little bit. Uh, hopefully Richard Dower doesn't fuss at me too much then of course we got some stuff around here as well similar keyboard here i really like the nine series so went with another one got another one go xlr yamaha mixer stream deck g502 another mouse pad uh headphones are a little bit different in here but i never use them unless we're doing the farm sim show these are the steel series arctis pro wireless something or another and then we got the g-o-o-g-l-e home and then I got a little American DJ uh, switch back there. This will help me turn on the like studio lights. So we can do that. And I'm sure those other ones do other things. I can't remember what they do. Oh yeah. And the sunglasses got of those. As far as the monitors, these are all Scepter monitors. So they're not junk by any means, but uh, they're definitely not the best in the world. I've got two, they're not even 1080p. They're 600 by 900. Uh, on each side, and then I've got a 4K 27 inch there. These side ones are 20 inch. Camera, again, Sony with there as well. That is an A6100, and then I have a uh, a Sigma lens on there, I believe, yeah, Sigma lens. Uh, it's a very good lens. That's what gives kind of the background a blurry look. Lights are exactly the same, left and right. I've got a cheap ring light from Walmart there. Uh, microphone, same stand. Same microphone as the other setup as well. Sennheiser, or, uh, Sennheiser, AKG C214. Because this is a studio, I actually have studio monitors in here. So we've got uh, a set of Yamaha HS5s. I love those. And then way down here, we have uh, the HS8S. Battery backups everywhere, by the way. Everywhere has backups. Uh, speaking of backup, I need to put that back up under the desk because that fell down. Tons of cables down there, just ignore it. Got another set of headphones over here. These go with the Mac setup that I've got right here. Uh, those setups are I-I-I, the headphones, the A-I-A-I-A-I. Custom built ones from when I was DJing and not a fan of them, so it is what it is. We got another Logitech G502 mouse. This one with the wireless setup, or the uh, wire white setup, sorry. And then we've got the full set of Magic, 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 all from Apple. 
This is what I added on. I got the Mac Studio. It's got the M1 Max chip in it. Um, 64 gigabytes of unified memory, 10 core, something more stuff, 32 um, core GPU. I don't know. It's fully maxed out. It do just doesn't have the Ultra. Then I've got the Motu M4 interface. Love that thing. Sounds great. And then the microphone that I use over here for backup recordings for doing farm some news is the um, KSM 27 from Shure. Monitors here are two 27 inch Eldry Ultrafine 4Ks. I went with the 4K versus the 5K or the Apple um, monitor. I just feel like I don't need it. Seems a little bit pricey and well, that's a little dumb. So I went with what works. Continuing along, uh, I use a bunch of these. I've actually got two more of them and they're both packed away. And I did just upgrade to a Samsung like M7 or S7 or T7, whatever it is. Um, they work really good. Got an extra iPhone here. Uh, I'm subscribed to my own channel. So I know whenever notifications go out or anything like that. And then actually the, the phone that you're watching this on, I'm recording on my iPhone 13. That goes there. Uh, this stuff is the bomb and I miss a lot of meals. Sassy Farmer helps me out with that. But um, yeah, this, I go through probably one of these every week, week and a half, something like that. It's not healthy, but at least I'm eating. You think that's around here? Lights? Eh, not really. Now one thing you may have already seen in here is the drum pad. Yeah, so I was a drummer in high school and in college. Actually, this is my vlogging camera right here, but oddly my iPhone looks way better than this. How? This was so expensive. Yeah. I don't feel like throwing it down on the ground. <laughs> nope. Uh, I got your slim pad here, and then I've got the uh, quad pad there. That's the smaller one if you guys are interested. And then I'm using uh, uh, Ralph Hardeman drumsticks, the indoors, and then down here I've got some MS5s and some um, T1s, whatever those are. So that is the office and my studio, but there's quite a few more rooms that I use on a daily basis. So we'll head down the hallway right here and we're gonna take a left. And this is storage. <laughs> this is uh, maybe about a third of my storage right now. There is a lot here. I said to change the aspect ratio just so you guys can see and zoom out a little bit more. So I've got two bits of shelves here. I got two more that I haven't built yet. Uh, we've got all the stuff up top and then all the computer stuff down here and microphone cords, stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> an Xbox that doesn't work. All the Apple stuff that I've gotten, all the uh, Elgato microphone stuff, all stuff over here from Logitech and, and all, oh, it's just, it gets ridiculous. <laughs> and then of course, I've got a TV with another Xbox on it because that gets taken outside because it's really nice most days, but it's pouring down rain today. So perfect day to do this. Um, and then I've got some totes. These are supposed to be in the closets, but they're not because everything's completely ugh, there. And then I got some more sound panels I put together, extra monitors, and then a couple extra lights. And then this is a pretty cool room in itself as well. So this used to be like the theater game room. I still call this the game room. Um, got some KRK monitors in here. The subwoofer's actually in the theater room because I don't have a subwoofer for that room yet. Couple couches, couple setups over there. Get your Panthers helmet. Hopefully Panthers do better this year. Um, but it's just kind of like a hangout. Uh, got some more steering wheel stuff in here. I don't know, big TV, surround sound. Just come in here, hang out. But if you want to watch a movie, this is the room for it. Currently, I'm in the process of doing a bit of remodel. So you see, we got cords running to these speakers in the back here, but whatever. Look at this. Oh, walk over them and I'm just fine. So got those there. And then here's the full little setup here. I like enjoying uh, watching movies and bringing friends over here. Just have fun. These are really cool. They're uh, all electric. So you just press a button and go, Nyeh. feet pop out. This pops back is really neat. And then as far as everything over here goes, I got some stuff from when I was a DJ and some new stuff. So stuff from when I was a DJ, I've got these QSC, um, I can't remember, KW-153s I believe. They're like a thousand, two thousand watt loud sound speakers. <laughs> but I don't know, they work. And then I've got some smaller like Kenwood stuff around. And then that's all going into this which is the Yamaha or XA4A receiver. And again, mess of cords. I, I, I can't make it look nice. It just looks awful back there. Uh, I do have a Nintendo Switch as well down here, kind of hooked up. So if we want to play bowling or something, uh, you just stand right there and play bowling on the TV. It's a lot of fun. 
Uh, I've also got the Series X right there and another PS5 back there and then a gaming PC there so I can play that. And then the, uh, oh, I don't know what this is. It's a 4K, 120 hertz, 86 inch TV. It's stupid. It's really cool though. Uh, we got the Oculus. This is fun as well, especially so you can like set it up behind there and have the person stationary and then all the people in here can watch what they're doing on there, which is really cool. And then this area right here is where I got the subwoofer. So it's a little in cove behind, uh, behind, there's actually, oh, you might be able to see it back there, got a fireplace. So back there is, uh, well, we don't use the fireplace. So there you go. And then stairs to upstairs. But we ain't going up there today. So that is my studio. That is my office. That is my game room. That's the theater room and storage. Just about everything that has to do with, with work and with YouTube, fun and play. Uh, this is where you're going to find me like 99% of the time that I'm awake. Even down here, I'm going to be eating somewhere as well. <laughs> <laughs> those uh, trail bikes gets going fast regardless i hope you enjoyed this i know you guys have been asking for a studio tour for a while so studio tour engage i hope you have a great awesome wonderful rest of your day if there's anything else that you want to see uh maybe an extra little snippet of let me know because i want to show you guys everything you want to see this is an awesome place and hopefully sometime i'll maybe be able to get some more youtubers over here to hang out with me otherwise hope you have a great one we'll see you guys later peace